While you celebrated International Women's Day by looping the Google Doodle video of empowerment, you may have missed soldering with liquid metal, how amputees can feel texture with their phantom hand, and the European Space Agency's next move. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where recently returned U.S. astronaut Scott Kelly is still undergoing tests after spending a full year in space rather than the standard six months. Basically, he's a guinea pig for our Mars future. Meanwhile, the European Space Agency is already on to the next big thing. Next Monday, a joint mission between the ESA and Russia will send a probe to Mars to test exploration tech like an advanced telescope that everyone hopes to use in the future. It will also search for evidence of methane and other rare gases in the Martian atmosphere that could indicate planet-based current biological activity. The presence of methane in Mars' atmosphere offers intriguing possibilities. It could result from geological hydrothermal reactions in the planet's mantle, or it may be from simple life forms like microbes. Kinda good to figure that out now before we send in the humans aka alien food, like man flesh, gross. A new device allows amputees to feel the difference between rough and smooth surfaces because of electrodes and stuff, basically. I could tell the difference between uh, where it was uh, very rough and smooth, and yeah, that was amazing. Researchers from the EPFL attached a device onto the nerves above an amputee's stump. The not real finger has sensors that can feel indentations in surfaces, then the physical characteristics are converted into electric signals, which the patient can feel because of the corresponding wrap on his arm that connects to nerves. We salute you, scientists! You may mistake soldering for the thing that ruins eyesight, but looks good when dancers in fictional movies do it. Sorry, that's welding. Soldering is for electronics, geez. Now a new invention has all the tech folk pumped. This metal is an alloy of bismuth, indium, and tin called Fields Metal. At room temp, it's normally solid, but if it's first put into a protective shell, it stays liquid. And voila, tiny liquid metal balloons were born. Now the microelectronics industry can connect circuit board components much more easily and avoid ruining the lungs of the contractors hired to do all their dirty work. I like to watch cat videos on YouTube. And finally, the toy mail talkie lets you send voice messages with kids for two-way messaging all in one plush-faced monster. Appropriate packaging for all the feels today's kids will one day have for the implants in their brains. <laughs> yes, I do like candy. It's, it's literally one of my favorite vegetables besides celery.